All right, go for it. Oh my god. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my god. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have no words. It's just it's amazing. It's way more than I expected. Oh my god. <laughs> Seeing the joy in her face at the reveal today, um, everybody was crying, happy tears, but it was just, that's what Candlelighters is here for, to help lift the spirits, to help people through the different stages that they're going through. I think that this room for her, especially as a teenager, um, is a sanctuary. It's a place that she can go. It's a place that, you know, she can have as her own to recuperate, um, to kind of step away from the cancer and uh, the treatment that she's receiving and hopefully a place that, you know, she can rest and she can get better. I'm in the last round of my chemo treatments. It's called maintenance. And this room is going to help me, like, recover and it brings me to a safe space where I can stay, where it's like not in the hospital and not in a stressful environment and makes me feel a bit, I don't want to say normal, but a bit more regular. I've tremendously enjoyed going through this process with Rachel. Um, I've discovered just how strong and wonderful and beautiful a human that she is. It could have not been for a better person. And I'm a firm believer that if you do kind things for others, kind things come back to you. So I'm really happy that I could do this for her and give her a space um, that was all her own, that she could hang out and grow in. I wanted to talk about how great Krista and the Candlelighters and Killer and all of the people who donated stuff for my room, how great they are and how thankful I am that they even thought of doing this. And I'm really grateful that they chose, that the Candlelighters and Krista chose me for this room. And yeah. <laughs>